Hey guys, uh, Jeff Moss here, Diverse Dimensions. It's a Saturday today, if you can imagine that, and just finishing up a project here for a client, but pretty, uh, pretty good little thing I wanted to show you guys here with these laser cut parts. We've got some tubing from a, from a client here that uh, needs to hand these off to their client, and they're all laser cut, and they look beautiful. So what I wanted to sh show you guys, though, is there is some whole content in here where the client says, you know, our client needs to just run a gauge pin through those as well. So we find some differences potentially between what, a, what an arm would measure and what a gauge pin would measure just because of a hole being a little bit off shape uh, or the cylinder circularity could be a little bit off. So what we do is we do run gauge pins through holes occasionally and this client said yes please do that and report out that data. So I still need to measure it with the arm so I can get the true position of that hole. Uh, but my size could be a little bit different based on my gauge pin I put through there. But again, I still need the center point for a true position of that hole. So what I've done is we've gone through the measurement of this, of this part. We, have not, um, we haven't added the gauge pin measurements yet. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And Polyworks calls it custom measurements. And it's powerful. It's fun to put that into the same report as your other measured data that you've captured with your CMM or your laser tracker or your ferro arm. So jump into Polyworks with me. I've got 2020 Live. And you can see here, I've got my DIM 3-1. This is one of the holes. And that is right here on the top of, of this little pattern here. Can't show you guys that, but it's right here on top. And what I've done is I've got this six millimeter hole and it's pretty generous with the tolerance. It's got a, a pretty good size true position on it. Um, what I've seen here though, is that the six millimeter hole it measures pretty nice. It's got this 25 micron deviation, and I would expect that coming out of that hole. That hole looks like it's laser cut, and it's beautiful. So what I'd like to do, though, is I'd still like to run that gauge pin through that thing so we can understand the size difference, okay? Here at Diverse Dimensions, we've got gauge pins, but they're standard, they're not metric. So I'm gonna do this. Jump in here, we will make, instead of millimeters, let's go to inches for size. And what I've got is this size right here. This nominal is 236, so this is the six millimeter. And then what I've done is I've already gone through and I've found the right gauge pin. So I pulled the 232 gauge pin out of my, out of my system here. And this is the one that just fits. It fits in there just so nice. And I tried the 233 and it didn't go. So this is a 232. So easy to do. If I say, okay, let's come underneath the pull down menu here for measure and let's go under custom measurements and create this custom measurement I'm gonna give it a name of course I'm gonna call it dim 3-1 gauge pin okay so that that um, my client will understand that we did this with a gauge pin and the method I'm gonna create this is going to be numerically I'm gonna hand key these in this is for if I wanted to put this feature someplace onto here as a visual. I don't care about that so much. So that doesn't mean anything to me. If I go create and now I close it, look what happens here is it shows up in my, in my model tree here as this gauge pin. So let's right click on that geometry controls. It tells me it's a custom. My nominal, so this would be the same as what the nominal is from the CAD. So let's type him in at a point two three six two which is the six millimeter and then I come under the measure and say you know what I pulled a gauge pin and it was my 232 now this this tolerance still needs to be updated we've got a, um, a little bit different criteria on the drawing so I'm gonna rake through that and I'm gonna update this yet as plus or minus one inch in millimeters <laughs> or in inches this is kind of a big one so <clears throat> so of course that'll pass but this is what I wanted to show my client is that I've got a measured piece of data from a gauge pin. So this 232 goes through, but I wanna make sure my client knows that. So what I do is I name it the same as what my measured data was. And the only thing I'm, in, I'm going to put in the table, um, along with all that, that data there from the measured data, I'm gonna put in a table of custom measurements that will be all the gauge pins that will relate to the same holes on my roadmap. So easy to do, and that's just under this measure custom measurements and it's nice too because you can do this as a um, um, as a value that like an alphanumeric you can say yes 
or no. So if in the same report that you guys are doing with your measured data, if you have to just do a visual check to make sure a hole is threaded or make sure that something is present, you can also use custom measurements to say yes or no. So all of that info can go into the same report for your client. So if you need some more information or more help with your, with your PolyWorks, um, whether you're using ARMS or laser trackers or CMMs, we love this software and this, it's super powerful on the way it works. So if you'd like some training on that, we'd love to help you guys out. You can reach out to me at jeff at diversedimensions.com or go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That's always helpful. So you'll get alerts on the new stuff coming up. And always go to the website too. There's always good info on the website at diversedimensions.com and reach out at any time. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching this one and if you need a hand, reach out at any time.